Hello, 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 Facebook land, YouTube land. Hello, everyone out there in the land. I am Lenora Tolliver with the Real Tours Real Estate School, and this is the very next episode of Office Hours with Lenora. So thank you for joining. Um, on this episode, uh, well, let's first let the people know what Office Hours with Lenora is. It serves three points. Office Hours with Lenora is a way for me to kind of coach and mentor and help anyone seeking information about becoming a real estate professional. Uh, secondly, anyone that is currently on their journey towards licensure uh, to help them pass their exam on the first attempt. And third, but not least, and to help those that have a current footprint or have started a career in real estate, help them to learn how to stay in real estate in this industry. So thank you again uh, for joining this episode of Office Hours with Lenora. Today, it's not going to be a very long one because um, most of the information that I'll reference, you'll definitely be able to find on the Realtors Real Estate School website. So that website address again is www.realtors with an S www.realtorsrealestateschool.com and you can even search for scholarships via that website. But today we're going to talk about on this episode scholarships 101 and how to apply uh, for those scholarships that are accepted at the Realtors Real Estate School. So I'd like to put a disclaimer out there, a point of notice or reference. The Realtors Real Estate School um, offers through the, the Chicago Association of Realtors Foundation, several different types of scholarships. So the CAR Foundation or the Chicago Association of Realtors Foundation, um, they offer scholarships to three select groups. So the first one or what their initiatives are, the first in initiative is to provide realtors with educational scholarships to help them enhance their businesses as well as their professionalism. So another um, initiative of the Chicago Association of Realtors Foundation is to foster new careers uh, for those that are uh, seeking to become licensed um, to foster those careers in real estate. The third initiative of the Chicago Association of Realtors Foundation is to engage as a charitable arm of the association. So to engage in giving re related to the real estate industry um, and housing along in the Chicago land area and communities. So three things, they, they work with those that are already realtors, there's to help them kind of develop and cultivate um, their, current, their current position. And then they're looking to help those that are very brand new and want to get into the industry. And thirdly, they want to give away in terms of charitable giving money to those um, real estate related industries and those within the Chicago land area as well. So the Carr Foundation offers and approves all scholarships that are accepted at the Realtors Real Estate School. There is a committee of members that are a part of the CAR Foundation, and they look at all of the applications and submissions towards uh, from individuals that are applying for the various scholarships. And they approve those um, applications and submissions based on how comprehensive and if they have been submitted in their entirety and the videos, as well as some other criteria that they are looking for. Uh, letters of recommendation usually almost always goes with a scholarship application for each and every one of the different types of scholarships that are offered through the Carr Foundation. Now, let's talk about the different types of scholarships because you would be surprised at the various types that are offered. Um, I think most people think the scholarships only goes towards pre-licensing, but that's not always the case. So let's talk about that very first one. Of course, it's the pre-licensing Roadmap to Realtor Scholarship. It's probably the one that's most applied for, 
um, by new new students that are just starting their journey on real estate, but they look towards that particular scholarship. It does offer the most amount in terms of pre-licensing because it's valued up to $700. So a traditional pre-licensing broker course, I think the most expensive one that we offer is $704. So if you are a recipient of this particular scholarship, the pre-licensing roadmap to realtor scholarship, and you've done all of the steps and you've completed everything in a timely fashion, it is a reimbursable scholarship. So once you've done all of those steps, including becoming a member of the Chicago Association of Realtors, the foundation will cut you your check of $700. So that means you would have paid $4 for a real estate pre-licensing course. Can't beat that. Can't beat that at all. So some of the requirements for the pre-licensing roadmap to realtor scholarship would be um, you do have to be an Illinois resident. You do have to submit or answer the questions that are found on our website because all submissions are um, done electronically from the website because they're time stamped and dated. So you'd have to complete what we call the business plan, which is a collection of questions. And some of those questions will center around what's your um, metric of success. How do you measure that? Will it be the number of closings you have? Will it be the number of families that you help? Will it be um, the types of transactions, whether it's residential or commercial, that you'll do? Another question that is asked for that particular scholarship, have you, the, the, the actual applicant, have you put any money aside for your journey into a real estate career? That's important because you're making an investment in yourself. If the pandemic hasn't shown anybody anything, it should show that, unfortunately, sometimes you do have to change your industry that you're working in or even start in a new career in a different industry because the hospitality industry was struck really hard last year due to, due to the pandemic. And a lot of um, my students from the hospitality hospitality sector, they came over to real estate because they brought a set of customer service skill sets with them, and they had to learn a new way of doing things um, using those similar skill sets in real estate. So you, you know, just have you saved anything to help? try to tie it and carry you through until you are able to close on your first or very many closings, I hope. Okay. The pre-licensing roadmap to realtor scholarship. Again, you have to answer those questions related to the business plan. You'll be submitting two letters of recommendation. The first letter comes from anyone in a professional industry. So it could be business, it could be some your pastor, uh, your, your priest, it could be um, your hairstylist. If they know you well enough, they can send you um, a, that letter of recommendation because it goes to you, the student, and then you're going to upload that letter of recommendation directly to your application on the website. It could also be a former manager or a former place of employment if they're looking to give you some um, good words of encouragement, as well as that reference to say that you will be a very good fit for real estate. The second letter of recommendation must come from a Chicago Association of Realtor member in good standing with at least a minimum of 18, 18 months, I'm sorry, 18 months in the business. Um, and they do have to be active. So how do you get that letter? or that second letter from a card member, you do have to attach the first letter of recommendation, no matter what. The second letter of recommendation, even if you don't know a card member at the point of you applying for the scholarship, you will be given up to 90 days after the completion um, of your course or within that window of time that the scholarship foundation administrative representatives will tell you to submit that second letter of recommendation from a card member. 
there will be opportunities for you to meet with car members and then you can kind of network and socialize with them to get um, someone to write that letter for you, but also to start cultivating and developing relationships in this business. And hopefully, if just so, you might even come out of this thing with a mentor to help you. So make sure you're asking the right questions. So that pre-licensing roadmap to Realtor Scholarship, I know that you'll be including a video, no more than 60 to 90 seconds, on why you want to become a Realtor. And I know there's a headshot and a testimonial, also some other things, but Again, you can find all of the requirements on the Realtors Real Estate School website. Let's talk about a few other of the scholarships that are available because I can point you in a direction whether you're going to um, universities or colleges and majoring in the real estate sector or urban planning and development or those sorts of sectors related to real estate we have higher education scholarships for those. Um, let's talk about the Marky Lemons Ryle Education Advancement Scholarships. This one has some criteria that must be met because our board member Marky Lemons Ryle is, um, this is her scholarship that she paid homage to her mom, her late mom, Miss Hazel S. Lemons. And part of the requirements for this scholarship is that it be um, you have a course of study from, well, you do have to be an Illinois uh, resident, but you have to have a course of study leading to you earning a real estate license, um, a business, urban planning or development, or real estate specific coursework. And it does have to be from uh, a historically black college and or university, as she's also included her alma mater of Chicago State University as an option for you. If those students from um, HBCUs or Chicago State University would like to apply for Markey Scholarship that's valued at up to $500, you can do so and apply for that on our website. Another one which will cover um, those students, and it doesn't mean that you have to have an emphasis as a career in real estate, but the Xavier O. Joy Scholarship is another higher education type scholarship that centers around Illinois residents that have an actual address or um, Illinois residents that are students attending Morehouse College in Atlanta University. And that scholarship is up to $1,000. Uh, the other higher education scholarship that we have is the actual name of the scholarship. It's called Higher Education Scholarship. And for that scholarship, it's valued between $1,500 up to $4,000. And that is specifically for someone taking college level courses which in, in real estate, urban planning development, um, those, those, those seeking to earn um, education in real estate specific industries and towards their studies. So you'll, their schools, real estate schools. So for example, like what I mean, start the Roosevelt University, DePaul University, um, what's some other ones? Um, Northwestern Kellogg School of Business, those different types of schools offer real estate courses and programs. So there is a minimum number of um, credit hours and semesters that you will need to take in order to qualify, as well as there's membership requirements with the Chicago Association of Realtors. Some of the membership requirements will need to come directly from the applicant and or a member of their immediate family. So good standings in, in terms of your relationship with CAR, as well as the course of study that you'll be taking, as well as the application process, all of those will cover or you have to take into consideration when trying to apply for one of the higher education type scholarships. Let's look at some different types of scholarships that you may not know that we offer. So for those students that perhaps 
went through our school, um, took their pre-licensing course with us and did not apply for the pre-licensing scholarship, we also offer a post licensing scholarship. So that's after you've done all of the coursework to get your license, you've earned your license, and now you're about to renew that license for the first time. The first time um, a, a license is to be renewed for a broker is usually April 30th of an even number year. So for example, this is 2021. The broker renewal cycle is ongoing right now because renewals will be due when? April 30th of 2022. So let's say that I was newly licensed this year and next year I have to renew this license. I would be completing a 45 hour post licensing course. Okay, so that 45 hour post licensing course you can apply for a scholarship to cover the cost for that. It's valued up to $500. So you can take your coursework here at the Realtors Real Estate School to help you renew your license. As long as you have um, applied for your scholarship prior to you completing the course. And when the Chicago Association of Realtors Foundation meet, let's hope and pray that you are one of the recipients of that post-licensing scholarship. And that scholarship is set in place to help offset some of those first year expenses that you would incur. Maybe you haven't started making the money per se um, with you. I hope you have or will. But if you're really, really new in the business, you want to try to reach out through scholarships and apply for a lot of the stuff to make sure that you're using your dollars towards marketing and getting your name established in the business. Okay. Let's talk about some final scholarships that you might not think that we offer, but we do. For those that are interested in property management, we have a scholarship for that one as well. It's the Chris Pezza Property Management Scholarship. I like to always say I'm right. So with that scholarship, you do need to either, uh, you have to apply as a pre-licensing student because it'll pay up to $350 towards your pre-licensing coursework, which is reimbursable. So you don't pay, it doesn't pay upfront, I should say. It's reimbursed after you've done everything. And then it'll also pay $120 towards the essentials of property management course. So that's a good course to couple with someone who's just starting in the real estate industry, knowing that they want to have an emphasis in property management so that you can learn about all of those preventative, routine maintenance, um, the uh, Chicago uh, uh, Housing Choice Voucher Program, uh, tenant selection, all of those various things to learn about property management to get your feet wet in that industry. I'm looking over here to see what other scholarships that I could mention. Um, the Veteran Scholarship is another one. So if you know, or if you are a veteran, and you have been honorably discharged, you have your DD-214, and you write a 500-word essay on why you want to become a realtor, as well as complete the other requirements, including submitting a formal application for that scholarship. We at the Chicago Association of Realtors, Realtors Real Estate School, and in conjunction with the Chicago Association of Realtors Foundation, have set money aside for veterans to receive a complimentary course. Now, the course uh, requirements mean that you do have to take your pre-licensing course either in a classroom setting, a webinar format, or self-study. Most, if not all, of the scholarships that we offer um, through the foundation must be completed in one of those three ways. If you're considering taking a course online where you are simply working at your own pace without in direct instruction of um, an instructor, you are literally kind of logging in when you want to to get the work done, completing module work and watching pre-recorded videos, you cannot apply for this any of these scholarships because they won't be applicable uh, to that specific program. Okay, so... The last scholarship that I want to talk about is the Zeke 
Morris Scholarship, and Mr. Zeke Morris is one of our former presidents of the Chicago Association of Realtors. This particular scholarship serves three different types of people, car members, um, aspiring real, real estate professionals, and those students that are, are current realtors or uh, members that are seeking to renew their license through a post-licensing. So that one kind of covers the gamut of scholarships. So let me point you back to www.realtorsrealestateschool.com and Realtors is R-E-A-L-T-O-R-S. Always remember to put the S on the end of that where you'll find all the information pertaining to each and every one of the scholarships that I just spoke of today, as well as others that we offer. You'll find um, the actual area where you're going to submit your scholarship with all of the requirements that you are to upload and attach to your scholarship. And you can also email carfoundation at chicagorealtor.com. I'll repeat, carfoundation at chicagorealtor.com with any questions about the scholarships or, you know, you can always reach out to me and I can help you get those answered too. But I want to thank you once again for joining me. Deadlines for the scholarships are quarterly. Um, we do have a looming deadline of March 20th. So if you are considering a career in real estate, and eventually uh, considering a pre-licensing, a post-licensing, maybe it's a designation or a certification that you would like to take. We've got that scholarship too. Apply, apply, apply and get your application in soon. For some of the scholarships, there's a specific number. For example, the pre-licensing roadmap to Realtor, there are only 10 recipients accepted every quarter. So 40 recipients per year. I hope that you're one of them, okay? Thank you for joining me on this episode of Office Hours with Lenora. I can be reached at 312-214-5513 or ltolliver at chicagorealtor.com. That's L-T-O-L-L-I, V as in victory, E-R at chicagorealtor.com. Get outside and enjoy some of this good weather. Be safe. Make sure you're doing your social distance thing. And I look forward to seeing you on the very next episode of Office Hours with Lenora. Ta-ta for now. Bye-bye.